Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the quick access toolbar. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a PowerPoint presentation open here. It's a blank presentation. And so the quick access toolbar on any default uh, PowerPoint will be right up here along the top left. And these are basically buttons that you should use pretty regularly that you cannot find within the regular ribbon area. And so you'll see save is right there. You have undo you have redo and you also have start slideshow from beginning you can also click on this area right here that says customize quick access toolbar and you can add any of these options uh, just by clicking on them so if I said oh I want new to be here I could click on new and you'll see that new will pop up right here and that will create a new presentation so that's kinda cool you could also uncheck it to remove anything that you don't want from up here one more thing that you could do is if you click on this Customize Quick Access Toolbar button, you could actually move it below the ribbon. And you'll see what that does. And it brings the buttons down here. If you use this a lot and you have buttons way across your whole screen, I recommend putting it here. But if you don't use it too much, I recommend placing it right above the ribbon up here at the top. The reason for that is if you don't have buttons that go all the way to the name, then uh, you really don't have a reason to move it down here because as you guys saw, it decreases the slide size and the size of the window that you actually have to work with. So again, I recommend it up top unless you have a lot of buttons up here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to customize this from the PowerPoint options menu. So if you go to the file tab and you go down here to options right here, you're gonna see that this opens up the PowerPoint options and you can actually customize your quick access toolbar by going to this menu right here on the quick access toolbar. All right, so now from here, you can see that uh, this shows you all of the current commands that are over here on the right side, as well as all of the popular commands on the left side. You can move things from the left side to the right side to add them onto your quick access toolbar. All right, so now you can go either from popular commands, you could choose commands not in the ribbon, all commands, macros, anything that you want. You could actually also choose the buttons that are already within your tabs. So if I go to the insert tab right here, I can see that I have a lot of different options to add in air, uh, new buttons. And so let's say I go right here to new slide and I want new slide to be added right over here. I can click on new slide and then click add and you'll see that new slide uh, arrow will be added right over here. All right. So I could also choose more buttons from this area. And so let's say that I wanted to go right here and I wanted to maybe find something that uh, I don't see within any of the tabs. And so I could go right here to all commands to choose all of the different commands available within PowerPoint. You're, gonna not re you're not going to recognize all of these, but these are literally every type of button that you can find within uh, PowerPoint 2016. And so I'm actually going to go over here and let's say that I wanted to have a quick way to see uh, WordArt Quick Styles. I can click on WordArt Quick Styles and click Add. And there we go. It's going to add WordArt right over there. Uh, notice that each of the commands is uh, represented on the Quick Access Toolbar exactly as it's shown on the ribbon. So it does show you the little icons. And clicking the new, er new slide arrow will display a list just like it would with the uh, WordArt Styles Gallery. So I'm going to show you how that looks. If I click OK right here, you're going to see that the buttons now got added right up here. And if I click on this button right here for New Slide Arrow, you're going to see that that's exactly the same as clicking the new slide arrow right here. Okay, So unless you use these commands all the time up here, I don't recommend putting them up here um, because if I know where the new slide arrow is at in the home tab and I'm usually clicked on the home tab, there's really no point on me having it up here at the top. All right, so now I'm going to go to the view tab and I'm going to uh, make sure that my ruler is turned on. And so Notice that when I moved the quick access toolbar below the ribbon, it also moves the ruler as well. Okay, and so just uh, keep that in mind uh, so that you know the best spot for placement for your uh, quick access toolbar. All right, so now I'm going to move it back above the ribbon and I'm going to go to the file tab, back to options, and back to the quick access toolbar options. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, from here, I'm actually going to, in the left pane, display the commands that appear on the slideshow tab. And so I'm going to click right here 
and go down to the slideshow tab and these are all of the options within the uh, slideshow tab and I'm gonna add the hide slide button to the right side and if I go right here I can add the hide slide button okay now in the right pane I'm gonna move the new slide button to the bottom of the list that'll be the far right icon on my quick access toolbar keep in mind that the top of this is equivalent to the left side of this the bottom of the list is equivalent to the right side of the toolbar so if I take um, which one did I say new slide from before and I try to drag it it's not going to work you have to actually hit these arrows right over here to reorder uh, in a custom fashion so I could go right here move down move down and now new slide will actually be on the right side if I click OK and you'll see right here OK now new slide is on the right side of hide slide alright so that's uh, how to organize those if I go to file options and I go back to my quick access toolbar you're gonna see here that I have all of my options right here alright so now what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert a separator okay and so for separators you're going to see right here is at the top of any of the commands that you choose is a separator and this is how you can actually organize them uh, with a little blank space in between so it's a little bit easier to see what buttons are located where and so I'm going to insert a separator by clicking on separator and clicking add and that'll add a separator over there so I'm going to insert a separator between the original commands and the commands that I added on this list so the separator is right here and I'm going to press up a few times and that's going to put the separator right before uh, word art quick styles okay and then I'm gonna add in two separators between the ruler and uh, the word art commands so right here I'm gonna click on separators one two okay and so I'm gonna actually add in these right between hide slide and new slide and watch what happens so one more time I put a separator after start from beginning and two separators in between hide slide and new slide and I'll click OK and now look at those separators they're right there and they're vertical lines and they help you uh, stay organized right up here and I'm going to show you it down below the ribbon now and you'll see it just adds a little bit of space in between the buttons just so it's a little bit easier for me to locate what's going on alright there we go and so now what I'm, I'm going to do is show you how to remove areas from the quick access toolbar or buttons from the quick access toolbar so if I go to the file tab options button and I go back to the quick access toolbar okay I'm gonna open this up and so uh, I'm gonna reset it and I'm gonna show you how to do this first I want to show you how to remove something let's say I want to remove the quick art uh, word art quick styles I click right there I click remove so that's how you remove something I want to remove a separator click on the separator remove if you've customized your quick access toolbar and you want to reset it to your default settings you go right down here to customizations you click on reset and you put reset only quick access toolbar you click on that and it says are you sure you want to restore it for uh, or are you sure you want to restore the quick access toolbar shared between all documents to its default contents remember these options do affect all of your PowerPoint whenever you open up PowerPoint presentation so I'm gonna click yes and you'll see it just goes back to those original four buttons that we talked about at the beginning of this video and I click OK and watch my toolbar up here at the top left and now you'll see it's back to the original four buttons that it was at the very beginning so that's how we set it to its default options so hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to customize your quick access toolbar how to add buttons and separators and also how to figure out uh, if your quick access toolbar is better at the top or at the bottom of the ribbon depending on your situation so hopefully this video has been helpful if it has please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day